Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansu, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment. I want to give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a very interesting show in store for you. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe uh, to the channel here. So, um, we're going to be talking a little bit more about this. As you guys know, there's drama all over the internet uh, after that exchange that took place on ESPN First Take yesterday with Shannon Sharp, Stephen A. Smith, Molly Karam. Uh, and Monica McNutt. Uh, since then, Stephen A. Smith has gone on his podcast to release a show where he responded to what took place on television uh, yesterday. Then I also saw that Monica went on uh, Nightcap with Shannon Sharp and, and Chad Johnson to kind of say her views. I didn't see that show yet. I'll probably check it out a little bit later, depending on if I have time. So a lot of people are chiming into this conversation and it was a heated one that took place yesterday on ESPN first take. I mean, I had never seen them spend that long on a particular segment. They spent, I mean, to me, what looked like 40 plus minutes uh, discussing this particular segment. I mean, it was it was absolutely crazy and everyone was everyone had their opinions. Uh, so what we want to do is to give this video some context. We want to play a little bit of what they had to say yesterday on ESPN first take that argument so you guys can hear some of their points and then we're going to come back and continue on the show take a listen to them yesterday we all agree that this play that's was me. unacceptable but in general this is still competition that's my biggest mistake you're well, right Shannon guys ain't gonna is say that it, I look baby. at other people Sh as Sh I see myself Sh Shannon go ain't oh my god right. go ahead Shannon Stephen ain't a. gonna say it but I'm Shannon ain't gonna say it but I'm gonna say it the word is resentment and I'm talking about what I feel about this whole conversation Nobody said all. Nobody painted the WNBA with a broad brush. We're talking about a girl that, a young lady that has come into the sport and is contributing to the financial backbone of the WNBA and simply imploring everybody to see the big picture and how it serves to benefit the whole. And because we brought that up, it's turned into a conversation with I, the resentment, <laughs> jealousy, whatever. I'm saying, yo, the resentment is legit, but it's also justified if you've been in the league busting your tail to help uplift it, and then somebody comes along and before they play ten, before they play one game, you're des you, you, you're labeling them the savior. A lot of people, men, a bunch of men would feel resentment towards that too. But we bring mm -hmm. it up here and all of a sudden we got to safeguard and couch every little syllable when we're talking about competition and we're talking about the league and we're talking about revenue and money and how everybody wants to get paid. The, what's the maximum salary? In the, in the WNBA m and Isn't that like 241,000 or something like that? Is two, that, is yeah, that the like number? 250. Mm -hmm. two, 250, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Two, 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 $250,000. These girls are stars. They can, they, 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 do, they do commercials now. They're going to be making dollars upon dollars on Madison Avenue, and they deserve it. We're talking about them maximizing their great potential. And because we bring that up and talk about what potentially might get in their way, which we do to men, all the time. Now we got to sit up here and watch every syllable. I resent that, and I'll leave it All at right, that. All right, so let me, so let me, I know we got to go to break. I know we got to go to break. <laughs> Welcome to the world of being a woman, Stephen A., and how you have to dance about your word choice, and you have gotcha. to please everybody and anybody as you navigate your being. We are talking about the world's greatest How about athletes being a black man? B okay, being black. Hold on one second. Have you, have you... So, so this is what I'm saying to y'all, though, and I know we got to go to break. And we didn't necessarily go there, and maybe we should. There are so many layers in this conversation around the way that it's being discussed. When you, right, no, no, no. And yes, Shannon, I know y'all are going to say you know, and Stephen A., I know you're going to, you, you just shared that you have talked about the WNBA on your program, too. You guys may not have said everybody, but the prevailing sentiment for folks that are just joining the WNBA and following women's sports is unfair to the women of this league, to your point, who have laid the groundwork for Caitlin Clark to come in and now take it to the next level. That's all I'm saying in these conversations. Kennedy Carter's behavior is not indicative of the entire league. We are still talking about competition where you are allowed to get a little extra elbow in if you are competing and you do it within the parameters of the game. The game is physical. Caitlin is helping to grow the league. These women understand that, but she cannot be babied as a rookie. That's all I'm at. All right. Who talks about the Let's Who talks about the WNBA? We who talks about women? Who talks about women's sports more more than more than first take? Stephen A. Respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. Wow. All right, we gotta wow. go. To, you wow. guys. So, so did you, you say know that you're my guy, but who does more for, than, than Stephen us? Stephen A. I'm talking to you. 
I'm talking to you. Wow. Don't do that. I'm talking to you about the oh, power that you have. Okay. I'm talking okay. to you. <laughs> okay. It's, okay. It's, All right, let, let's, I got it. You my guy, but I'm talking it. to you. Guys, I got it. Guys, 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 I really you, you appreciate missed, You my girl, but you've missed a lot of episodes of First Take. You missed okay. a lot. Stephen A., guys, three years ago, you would not talk about the devil at this level. Don't do that. Guys, guys, Nobody re- was, Monica. Guys, you making hey, Stephen A.'s point, hey, Monica. Hey, Monica, ge- you making Stephen A.'s point. Please let me do my job. Please let me do my job. We've gone for 40 minutes straight. It was a riveting discussion. I have to get into commercial break. So you heard what they had to say. So what happened? This morning, I actually opened up my phone and I saw, a, 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 what is it, a post from Yahoo Sports that was highlighting some comments that Angel Reese had to make in terms of this entire conversation surrounding the WNBA. And when I saw her comments, initially what I said was, when is this drama going to finally be over? But she's now decided to jump into the fray and give her two cents on her role and what role she believes she's playing in the WNBA being talked about and being popular and becoming more popular uh, today. But before we even get into what Angel Reese had to say, this video is brought to you by our sponsor Price Picks, which is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. Prize picks is really simple. Instead of just selecting a team, you just select two or more players, pick more or less their projected stats, and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries, Stephen Curry for more than 25 points, and then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks, and Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Prize picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So, for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit matchup up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do now is want to quickly play what she had to say. It's only about a 30 second clip. Uh, and then we're going to come back and react to her comments. Take a listen to what we uh, what she had to say here. It all started from the national championship game. And I've been dealing with this for two years now. And understanding like, yeah, negative things have probably been said about me. But honestly, I'll take that because look where women's basketball is. People are talking about women's basketball. You never would think that we'd be talking about women's basketball. People are pulling up to games. We got celebrities coming to games, sold out arenas, like just because of one single game. And just looking at that, like, I'll take that role. I'll take the bad guy role, and I'll continue to take that on and be that for, the, for my teammates. And if I want to be that, and I know I'll go down to history, I'll look back in 20 years and be like, yeah, the reason why we watch watching women's basketball is not just because of one person. It's because of me, too, and I want y'all to realize that. So you heard her comments. What are my thoughts on this? You know, I've never seen anything like this before. And, and I guess it's true what they say. You know, all press is good press, even if it's bad. The fact is, the WNBA is beginning to gain a lot of attention, a lot of eyeballs, but it's for a plethora of reasons. Obviously, Caitlin Clark plays a role. Obviously, Angel Reese plays a role. But more importantly, I think the major reason they're getting a lot of attention now seems to be because of this drama. There's a lot of drama right now that's taking place, if we're being honest. A lot of people giving their views, shouting and screaming. Even the whole Caitlin Clark thing that we're talking about is based off of a dirty play that took place on the court. That's what really sparked this conversation. And I guess it's good because bringing them a lot of attention, bringing them a lot of eyeballs, which ultimately uh, will benefit all of them. That's the point that Stephen A. Smith was trying to make. Like, listen, uh, no point to hate on her. No point to be jealous, jealous of her. That's the words that he used that Kendrick Perkins took exception to, as well as Monica McNutt. Um, when... You know she's bringing in attention and for, for if she's bringing in the attention she's setting the market going to bring in more sponsors and as, as a result everyone is going to benefit uh that was his point right now to just quickly touch on what monica mcnutt had to say yesterday towards the tail end of that argument that they had she said that well stephen a smith you could have been covering the WNBA uh before you could have been doing more before listen and i and i, and I want to be honest with you guys I think there's a lot of things taking place here. I think that there are people out there that want Stephen A. Smith to be wrong because they may not like Stephen A. Smith. They may not agree with him. And y'all know I'm not a fan of Stephen A. Smith. So I think 
there's that group of people there that when she went out there and said that, they were like, oh, ah, they just latch onto that because, well, ah, ah, he's wrong. They're those group of people. There are a group of people out there that thought that he, they thought that she was making a point. Like, well, why weren't you covering them? And then there's a group of us out here that is looking at the situation like, what the hell are you guys even talking about? Like, quite literally, what are you talking about? Why wasn't he doing more for the WNBA three years ago? Why weren't other people doing more for the WNBA three years ago? Why is it becoming upon Stephen A. Smith to talk about? You can't be serious. I think those comments are just a bunch of virtue signaling comments, if I'm being quite honest. with you. Why would Stephen A. Smith talk about something that nobody really seems to care about? Why would he do that? Why would he use his show that is meant on discussing the hottest topics in sports and culture and all of that to now take a segment out of his show to talk about something that the viewing public watching him discuss it have no interest in. Why would he do that? Why? Why? Why should he do that? The question is why? Why should Stephen A. Smith feel like it is his need to do that? Why? This is the question nobody has answered yet. Nobody. If the WNBA was popular three years ago, not only would he have been talking about it, other people would have been talking about it too. So why does it all need now? Why does it all of a sudden need to fall on Stephen A. Smith's shoulders to discuss it when there was no interest in the first place? Why should he do that? Why is it his responsibility? Why are you asking him to do that? He brought up a point yesterday on his show, which was. When different businesses begin to take off is when women start, start 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 jumping into the fray and they start contributing their dollars and they start contributing their eyeballs, their viewership. He said it happened with the NBA and other. So the question he asked was, if the women felt this strong, strong about, you know, the WNBA not being covered, why don't they go and support the game? Why don't they go to the arenas? Why don't they tune in and watch the games? Why is it becoming upon Stephen A. Smith to discuss the WNBA when the, when the women themselves are not even interested in it? So why should it why should it be his job? Why? Why don't you go create a show? You go create a platform and you talk about it. He could have been doing more. He did enough. And that's the point that we're trying to make. Who was doing more? Nobody. So why is it his job? And what the, the picture that we're trying to paint is, you see, if you had been doing more, maybe they would have been in a different place. BS. If the brand was more uh, 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 attractive, then it would have been in a different place. Why is it Stephen A. Smith's responsibility to popularize the WNBA? Again, no one is answering the question, why? Why? No one wants to answer this question. I'm lost here, why? Why is it, a become, why is it becoming upon this man to do this, to, to do this for you? Why? No one wants to answer this. And I think that's why he was annoyed, personally. I'm, I'm keeping it real. It's like one of them. It's like having. It's like a hip hop artist, or an up in, like a aspiring hip hop artist. He's making music, but it's not really hot. It's not really hot. And he's going up to DJs talking about, "Yo, why are you not playing my music? Cause I, it's not good enough. You go make some hot, you know what? And I'ma play it. You go create a buzz for yourself, and we gonna play your music." But you're not going to have no buzz. You're not going to be making these whack-ass records and expect me to go play it on the radio and get into issues with the radio or my bosses and all that because you want me to play your music when it's not hot. It sounds really entitled to me if I'm keeping it funky with you. You could have been doing more. He doesn't have to do nothing. That's the whole point. He doesn't have to do anything. This is a business. It is. Like, let's not act like we're children here. They talk about what gets eyeballs. Period. And I don't understand. You know what gets me about some people? People are funny. You know that? People are full of it. People get up every day in the morning they go to work to do what? To earn a living. To make some damn money, right? They do what they do to make money. But then, they have the goal to now turn around and ask you, all you do is to make, all you do when you go to work is look for ways to make money. So what you doing? What are you doing? You get up in the morning to go to work, you doing it for free? Hell no, you don't get a, get a paycheck. Whether you like it or not is irrelevant. You're doing it to get a paycheck. But then when somebody else is doing something and looking at it from a revenue a generation standpoint, oh, all you're doing is for the money. So I'm, I'm lost here. 
We've had some people come to our channel. Oh, you're doing these videos. You're making these videos. It's like you want to make money. I'm like, uh, I'm, I'm lost here. Did I ever say that I'm, we're not for profit? When you get up in the morning and go to work, don't you go to work to make money? So why are you asking me that dumbass question for? He's not going to talk about it because there was no interest in it. Whose fault is that? Is it Stephen A. Smith's fault or is it the WNBA's fault? We don't want to embrace that question. You're going to have dudes in the comment section twerking it up, knocking over drinks, hoping that women will jump in the comment section and notice them simping and twerking all over the comment section. I hope they choose me. Watch me simp it up for you as much as I can. Hey, look at me over. I see you. Dude. We know you dudes. We know you. We know you. The minute a lady leaves a comment, you're the first one to jump under and start commenting. She ain't comment on a video to be has to have somebody holler at them. Stop simping. And let's keep it real. And to me, this entire thing just seems like one big dr dr drama fest. Angel is like, she plays a role. Absolutely, she plays a role. But at the heart of all of this is drama. So does she play a role? Absolutely. Does Caitlin Clark play a role? Absolutely. Does people discussing this on television play a role? Absolutely. And Stephen A. Smith, even bringing you on the show yesterday, as he said, also helped. It also helped. And he was probably sitting there saying to himself, I thought I just invited this woman to my show all of these years. This is what you're going to come up here and say? He must have been like, what? So this is what you're going to do on live TV. You couldn't have told me that behind doors. You have to wait on live TV to do it. That's what happens. I'm with Stephen A. Smith 100% on the way. Y'all can be with Monica. I, mean, I don't understand the point that she was trying to make, to be quite honest with you. That last point, he could have been doing more. He don't need to be doing nothing. It's not his obligation to popularize the WNBA. Stop putting that on the man. It's unreal. Men are these terrible creatures that walk the earth, but then you come around asking them for help. I'm lost. That's why you saw Draymond Green snap at uh, 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 Lisa, uh, what was it, Lisa Les? She was like, you know, we, we do, man, like, what are you talking about? We could be doing more. All the stuff that we do, what's, what's next? You want us to be splitting our, our paychecks with you? Like, I'm lost here. Society today is backwards. And it's being, and, and it's men, I blame for it. Because y'all the ones that are going around twerking it up, simping all over the place, knocking over drinks, spilling honey all over each other. Just because, man, I, I, I'm done.